in an organizational setting, creativity and innovation falls in the domain of technology management. Let's have a look at some definitions. What is technology? It is the relationship of society with its crafts and tools to an extent by which society can control its environment. So through our mobile phones and our internet, these are our tools through which we control our environment. Technology is the process by which humans modify nature to meet their needs and wants. It is a collection of techniques. It is the application of science, maths, arts, etc. What is management? It is the art of getting people together to accomplish desired goals. Management comprises of planning and decision making, organizing, leading and controlling. Management is also responsible for deploying and manipulating human, financial, technological and natural resources. This is the management process. It starts with planning and decision making, then organizing, leading and controlling. Planning and decision making. It involves setting organizational goal and deciding how to best achieve them. Organizing involves determining how best to group activities and resources together. Leading involves motivating members of organization to work in the best interests of the organization, while controlling involves monitoring and correcting ongoing activities to facilitate goal attainment. As I have mentioned before, in order to understand creativity and innovation in an organizational setting, it is absolutely essential to understand the use of technology in organizations. This field is often referred to as technology management. There are many different definitions of technology management. One of my favorite ones is technology management is the set of management disciplines that allows organizations to manage its technological fundamentals to create competitive advantage. Technology management links engineering, science and management disciplines to plan, develop and implement technological capabilities to shape and accomplish the strategic and operational goals of an organization. Thus, it is safe to say that innovation and creativity are interdisciplinary processes. Technology management is mainly carried out at two levels, at the national level and at enterprise level. Technology management at the national level involves that the nation and its business firms gain sustainable technological competitiveness in the international markets and maintain strong position in the international business on a long-term basis. The main objective of technology management at enterprise level is to assure that the firm gains and maintains a strong position in its core technologies, which are relevant to its product market relationship and that these technologies support firms competitive strategies. At the national level, the domain of technology management includes the following. Developing appropriate technology strategy for the nation, for example, internalization versus externalization strategy of the nation, technology forecasting that is forecasting the technological changes, Justification or appropriateness of new technologies, sustainable technologies, de development of renewable energy for instance, sustainable economic growth, planning national technology portfolio, knowledge management, managing external technology acquisitions, managing technology absorption, managing technology diffusion and performance measurement of new technologies. At the enterprise level, technology management includes the following areas. Developing technology strategy for the organization, technology forecasting, managing enterprises technology portfolio, knowledge management, implementation of new technology, technology transfer, technology absorption, performance measurement, and technology and environmental sustainability. Technological innovation is the process whereby new and improved products, processes, materials and services are developed and transferred to a plant, facility or a market where they are appropriate.
Innovation refers to the financially viable implementation of a creative idea into a product, service, material or process. Innovation is the glue between invention and investment. Invention is the creation of new ideas and concepts. Innovation is matching inventions with people's problems to form solutions, whereas investment is the commercialization of the solutions via businesses. It is a very famous quote by Dr. George Geoffrey Nicholson. He says that research is the transformation of money into knowledge, whereas innovation is the transformation of knowledge into money. Importance of Technological Innovation Technological innovation now is the single most important driver of competitive success in many industries. Many firms earn over one-third of their sales on products developed within the last five years. Globalization has increased competitive pressure. Product innovation helps firms protect profit margins by offering new differentiated features. For example, back in the day, Sony used to produce 75 different models of Walkman that differ in size, color, music, format, and other features. Back in 2012, Toyota offered 16 different passenger vehicle lines under the Toyota brand. Process innovation helps make manufacturing more efficient. Advances in information technology has enabled faster innovation. CAMCAD systems enabled rapid design and shorter production runs. The net effect of this is that there are shorter product life cycles, more rapid new product introductions, and greater market segmentation. Why innovation is becoming more important? Technology is changing fast. New products come from new competitors. Products are increasingly difficult to differentiate. Customers are more sophisticated, segmented, and demanding, and expect more in terms of customization, newness, quality, and price. Various technologies come together. Markets are forming and changing fast. With markets and technological changes fast and good ideas quickly copied, there is a continual pressure to devise new, better products, processes, services faster. Innovation enables a wide range of, good, of goods and services to be delivered to people worldwide. More efficient food production, improved medical technologies, better transportation, etc. They, all this increases the GDP by making labor and capital more effective and efficient. However, this may result in negative externalities as well. For example, pollution, erosion, uh, antibiotic resistant bacteria, etc. This is Robert Solo. Robert Solo is a Nobel Prize winner and he proposed the term Solo's Residual. Impact of Technological Innovation on Society The aggregate impact of technological innovation can be seen in GDP. The GDP is the gross domestic product, the total annual output of an economy. The average GDP per capita of the world has risen steadily since 1971, particularly in developed countries. Economist Robert Solo showed that the growth in GDP was not solely on growth in labor and capital inputs, but technological changes as well. Basically, the growth in GDP was calculated as the sum of capital input and labor growth. However, it was noted that even after adding the capital input and labor growth, the GDP was, sli was still slightly more. Robert Solo called this additional GDP Solo's re residual and claimed that this additional growth was due to technological innovation. The Solo's residual is the portion of economy's output growth that cannot be attributed to, to the accumulation of capital and labor or the factors of production. GDP relates to improved quality of life and thus technological innovation has positive impacts on society. Successful innovation requires careful crafted strategies and implementation process. This is the innovation funnel. Most innovative ideas do not become successful new products. 
pharmaceutical companies for example in one out of 10000 compounds succeed as a new drug 12 years from discovery to the market and a cost of around 350 million dollars is spent please go through your case study carefully and answer the questions thank you